hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we'll be talking about dtc's walk-in drive many of my students go for it and uh, i feel that if i create a video on it with the complete information that will help many people recently one of my students got offer via dtc's walk-in drive for a salesforce developer role and uh, with him i i uh, sat down and got all those steps okay so here i'll be explaining each and everything and in case if you have any question you can put your doubt in the comment okay so uh, the mandatory or kind of very important step is to fill the application form on their portal and that will generate a tp id or kind of candidate id that candidate id is very important when you go to tcs okay because all your document upload and rest of the things will happen on that same portal with the help of that candidate id it is also very important when you go to the venue because it's a walk-in drive you have your documents with you your resume your passport size photo uh, the four pass the res your resume and the application form basically they need that candidate id okay then there will be two rounds of interview one will be technical and one could be techno managerial if there are many candidates and depending on the requirement sometimes they club both of these rounds together and take a single round but in most of the cases there will be two technical round or uh, there will be two rounds one technical and one kind of managerial could be some something in the technical front but mostly in the managerial part okay so there will be two technical round then there will be a hr round or kind of salary round where they will ask your expected ctc always remember do not quote very high because tcs do not give uh, exceptional hike in terms of uh, uh, giving hikes on your current ctc okay they do not do that plus they do get a lot of candidates on the walk-ins okay so they cannot go for uh, you know exceptional hike like 100 percent or more than that okay so be reasonable there uh, because otherwise if you quote too much even if you are selected l1 l2 round then also they may not be able to offer you that much okay then i think uh, on that day this part will be done after your rounds are cleared i think they'll again ask you to fill something on that application form and after that salary uh, discussion uh, they'll ask you to leave for the day in couple of days you will get mail regarding all your rounds have been cleared if your rounds are clear though they'll give you a soft signal that your rounds are clear officially on the mail they'll tell you that okay now your rounds have been cleared and then they will ask for you to upload the documents that document upload part is also very important because then after that the background verification will happen a third party vendor will be doing all those background verification thing they will be asking you to fill the complete employment history from your first organization till the last organization joining date and date and all the experience letter everything they will be asking for and the third party will be verifying so they will ask they will also be asking a lot of questions regarding your employment history okay if you are fresher then just upload the education related details but for experienced candidate it is important to put everything in a proper order in a proper and correct details okay dates are also mm -hmm. extremely important if your dates are overlapping between the experiences that will not allow you okay and then once your background verification is done then there will be a salary negotiation round where they'll quote whatever they can offer and if there is anything you need to uh, you need them to change in terms of joining in terms of uh, salary let's say you already have a counter offer and you want more than that in that case this will be the round where they'll be talking to you and if possible then they will may they may need further approvals on uh, increasing ctc and all those stuff let's say if in case they provide you a joining date and you want them to extend that it is also possible but all you need to do is you need to talk to that hr you need to raise a mail or in the portal you can track all those joining date related thing if you want an extension or if you want to join early that is also possible all you need to do is to communicate with your hr be very patient with their hrs because the hr will be working on multiple profiles at a time so it is very much possible that you call them they will not respond portal is the best place to track it raise your query or uh, mail them prof professionally that okay you will be looking for early joining or you want to postpone postpone your joining date they can do it very much do not get tensed about it just follow the procedure and uh, uh, yeah i think that should be the whole procedure if 
let's say you just go to the walk-in drive without filling the application form uh, that is also okay all they want you if your rounds are clear in that case they will take your round one and round two and if your rounds are clear then they will ask you to create a, a TPID for yourself create a uh, candidate ID for yourself by filling the form at that time so you will have to do it sooner or later okay so that's how you are going to do it is very important to carry out your documents because uh, uh, that's a that's a kind of mandatory step with TCS so do follow that and uh, they do keep on doing a lot of walk-in drives every alternate uh, weekends on different different location so keep an eye um, uh, connect with the HRs on the LinkedIn and I think you will get to know uh, about all those walk-in drives. All the best for your job search everyone. Thank you.